Hey guys, Kalila here, and then welcome to another vlog. <laughs> so, I literally said in my last vlog that I wasn't going to really record many regular vlogs again. Well, that was a lie because... I realized that there's just so much to vlog right now when it comes to my projects. Okay? Okay. So I am getting ready to leave. <laughs> Not right now, but like in a few hours, I'm going to be leaving because my sisters and I are going to be spending time with our friend because, okay. Me and Kayla's birthday is tomorrow. I don't know how to grammatically phrase that correctly. Kayla and me's birthday. Kayla and I, no, me and Kayla. Our birthday is tomorrow, <laughs> September 12th. We're turning 26, which is so exciting. I love getting older. A lot of people are like, you don't wanna get older, you don't, no. Like, I'm excited to turn 50, okay? I'm excited to grow gray hairs. I'm going to rock my grays when I get older. I don't care. Like, we inevitably get older. Why not enjoy the process? Why not enjoy what happens when we get older? You know? Physically. Why is my battery dying? Dude, I swear. I need to charge these like every second. Hold on. All right, new battery in. Yeah, anyway, I like getting older. So I'm excited for every age I turn, okay? Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be working on my zipper sweater. Since I'll be gone for the next like four days, today, tomorrow, that day, that day, yeah. I am just going to be working on my zipper sweater by Petite Knit. Ever since I did the Mamba sweater, I've been obsessed with zippers and sweaters so the zipper sweater has been on my list for about a year now and i didn't think i'll actually get to it until next year but i just decided to spontaneously cast this on and i'm so glad that i did the yarn i'm using is let loopy by istex it is 100 percent icelandic wool it is very nice very lovely to work with do keep a hand cream with you as you knit because your hands will get dry because this is very very rustic but I'm so excited to feel it on my skin I talked about that in my previous podcast that I posted but this is where I am so far Ooh, hold on, let me turn on lighting up so you can see okay I just did something I don't know what I did but let's okay that so you can see it better I don't know if that made it better <laughs> but so far I'm working on the yoke let's do it from the back this is what it looks like we have half twisted rib for the collar which was not a pain but it was a little annoying because I had to do it flat so you have to knit through the back loop on the right side and then purl through the back loop on the wrong side it was kind of fun. I got into a rhythm. I was like, oh, okay. But whew, you could definitely feel that on your wrists, okay? And then, of course, I knit the collar down. And yeah, now I'm just working on the yoke. I'm loving how this yarn is turning out. If it will focus on this yarn. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I am excited. So this is where I am so far. I'm doing the size medium so that I can have a good bit of positive ease. My needle stopper just fell off. Yeah, I'm doing the size medium so I can have a good bit of positive ease because I want to, I want it to be huge. And I don't know how this blocks out, so I don't know if it'll block out like, or hopefully it does, you know, just like bloom a lot. And other project I'll be working on probably toward the end of this video will be my Never Sweater because I'm going to start my Never Sweater later this week on the 15th. I'm going to be swatching for it. I'm going to be oh doing so much when it comes to that because once I start on that sweater, I am not going to stop. Okay, okay. 
that's an exaggeration. I'm gonna stop once I finish the yolk because then I'll have all of the numbers that I need, basically, because the, the body length and the sleeve lengths are always customizable. You can do it to the length that you want. I'm going to do the sleeve decreases probably at the same rate for all sizes, and then I'll just say you can, you know, continue until it's just the width that you want because some people want a lot of you know they want to open sleeves some people want cinch sleeves so it just depends on what you want yeah i am going to customize it that way or like have it be customizable because at the end of the day you do your sleeves how you want the width that you want because it's going to be a basic you know simple raglan sweater so i feel like having that be customizable is like you know fine it's not like it's a patterned sweater where it's like mm, maybe i should have different rates for different sizes but as i continue doing the pattern and knitting it up i will see what i will do in the end but once i finish the yoke i will have all of the numbers that I need to basically write out the entire pattern and have something that's sort of complete, you know? And then after I finish the yoke of that, I will probably start on my Arctic Light sweater or something, or maybe go back to my zipper sweater, but, or maybe I will feel the urge to just continue on it. Who knows? I think since I want to finish the yoke of my zipper sweater, this week and also then finish the yoke of my never sweater by next week I think maybe I would want to do a little texture to take a break from doing <clears throat> take a break from doing stockinette plain stockinette but of course things change so we'll just see I'm thinking about October because I want to finish the never sweater basically by the end of September and let me see yeah i want to finish it by october so that i can do a tester call like mid-october but you know what it's fine because if i want to do it mid-october do a tester call mid-october then i can take time to take a break from my never sweater work on my arctic light maybe finish the yoke for that and then go back to my never sweater. I think I like that idea. Yeah, I think I like that idea. Okay, that's enough rambling. I'm going to continue working on, <clears throat> I'm going to continue working on this sweater before I leave, and then we'll just see how things go. Okay, okay. Hey guys. <laughs> I didn't get done on recording, don't worry. <laughs> Like was talking about how bad her breath smelled. <laughs> okay, we are about to head to our friend's house. I have my project right here. Kahila has her project right there. Yeah. The Stick Season Sweater by Craya yep. Bea. I'm doing the Zipper Sweater by Petit Knit. Malika's driving. Okay, bye. <laughs> next day aka my birthday and I'm so tired <laughs> we went to bed at like 4 a.m. okay it was crazy but now we're gonna chill for now we're gonna go to dinner later for now we're just gonna chill for like all day basically and knit we're gonna watch the Apple event on that TV but I joined in a round for my zipper sweater Kahila is about to wait it's blurry okay Yours is what? Oh, uh, knitting flat. Oh, nice. And Malika's over there, but her knitting is right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you my zipper sweater so far. I still have to like knit across this one row round now that I'm working it around, but this is what it's looking like. So this part where the zipper will go 
And it looks so good. You can see it better in this lighting. How the yarn is. It's so good. you on this printer right here but we're about to go out for our birthday it is you know our birthday we're going out today i just realized we didn't eat our cupcakes we didn't blow out the candles we could do it tomorrow because we're gonna have a little dinner tomorrow for us and it's gonna be chill and nice and awesome i just wanted to update you guys and show you that i split for sleeves oh hey, hey. <laughs> no you're gonna have a um, did this bottom back of my hair look stupid? No. Are you sure? It looks good. It's not too much? No. Okay. I Thank like you. it. You're all gone. Hey, vlog. <laughs> so, yeah, I split for the sleeves and the body. So, this is what it's like at the moment. Oh my gosh, it's looking amazing. You can barely see because it's like black on black, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am in love. I just like how deep the zipper is. Like, it's gonna be so good. Oh, I can already feel the coziness. Okay, anyway, that's all I wanted to show. Now that I've finished the yoke of this project, I'm probably not gonna work on it as much. What's tomorrow? Wednesday? Yeah, I'll probably work on it a little bit just because it's the only project I have and I will want to knit. <laughs> while I'm here and it's the only project I brought. So I want to work on it just to get the knitting. And plus now it's just plain stockinette anyway, which is great. And what else? Yeah, I'm just excited for Friday, maybe Thursday. I'm thinking maybe Thursday because I expect it to take longer to get to the yoke. But now that I finished the yoke, I'm like, oh, I can start my never sweater earlier than I planned which means I can finish the yoke of that earlier than I planned so that's it I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow not probably yes I will talk to you tomorrow okay bye down it's like 8 p.m yeah and now i'm about to do my swatch for my never sweater okay wow my forehead is so shiny that's cool yeah i'm about to do my swatch for my never sweater the needles i'll be using will be my new sorella needles and also this woolly knit yarn, it is 100% British wool, and the color is Heather, Heather Mix. The shade is 027. Yeah, it is 100% British wool, and wow, my first design is going to be in some rustic yarn, okay? I'm working with some rustic yarn right now, obviously, as you know, because I'm working on my zipper sweater. Let me just show you the zipper sweater one more time because you probably will not see it again in this vlog. Potentially. We'll see.
Okay, I was working on it a little bit while I was, after I had done the yoke, but since I reached the yoke so quickly, I forgot that working on five millimeter needles means you will knit faster. Well, at least if you're used to knitting on like two millimeter to four millimeter needles, knitting on five is like, oh my gosh, wow, zoom, you're zooming, right? At least that's how I feel. But this is where I got to. It literally just looks the same. Nothing's really changed, you know, beautiful, beautiful, awesome. Because now it's just plain stockinette in the round for this body. And we're just going to put this to the side, okay? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. I'll probably pick it back up and like, no, I'll probably pick it back up in like a month. <laughs> We will see because this week and well this coming week it's currently Thursday so I'm gonna work on my never sweater well I'm gonna do my swatch today and then maybe I'll work on the math and stuff for it tonight because tonight I just want to wind down and chill and so tomorrow I will really start on the sweater itself, but I still, I need to do the math and stuff before I even start because I need to get the numbers to cast on. So I'll just get my, get my gauge and type out the numbers and everything. And oh, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be double stranding these and I don't feel like winding up cakes. I'm just going to knit from the cone itself, honestly, and we're just going to go go with the program, you know? And I'm going to work on 4mm needles because that's my favorite size to work on, especially when it comes to DK weight patterns because this is going to be a DK weight sweater. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's all I need to update you guys on. Oh! I didn't continue my thought. Yeah, I'm going to work on this all next week. And I'll probably end off my vlog next week and post it. I'm like in design mode now, okay? And earlier today, I designed a colorwork sweater in my head. I haven't even done colorwork before, okay? And I designed a colorwork sweater already. I have the name for it and everything. Empty hashtag beautiful. And then... I think Kayla and I came up with another sweater design. <laughs> it's like our brains are just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We came up with another textured sweater. <laughs> okay, anyway, and we named that as well. So we now currently have 10 sweater designs, which I will be designing all of them, but my sisters helped me come up with ideas and stuff. So I have 10 sweater designs in my arsenal at the moment. And <laughs> it's so crazy, okay? I have, okay, anyway, forget that. Let's get to swatching, okay? Now that I have my needles, you hear that? On the cord, I am going to do a swatch that is 44 stitches by 44 rows. And my two stitches on each end will be garter. And my two rows on the bottom and the top will be garter as well. So I can have a nice border and I can have a nice surface area to measure. Yes, I know that is a huge swatch, but that's what I want. Well, it seems huge to me, at least. So, anyway, I'm gonna get started.
just finished the swatch. I did not do 44 by 44 because the moment I casted that on, it was too big. Way too big. This is 30 by 36 and it looks really great. Oh, look at that heathering. Oh my gosh. This sweater is about to be so nice. I already have yarn for a second sample because I really want one with mohair. I love mohair, okay? Like, you cannot take mohair away from me. But this does have, like, a nice little fuzz to it. Not too much. But I'm going to go and soak this in water and then pin it to some blocking mats. And I'm gonna let it dry overnight. I don't need to, don't. <laughs> I don't need to let it dry for that long. But I'm going to bed. Okay. It is almost 10 p.m. now, and it's time for bed. All right. I need to go to bed, read, and then sleep. I always read before bed. No, not meditation type. I'm reading Ice Planet Barbarians. Okay. Hello. Hi guys. Yeah, that's my swatch. For what? The never sweater. Oh, this is the yarn you're using? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> yeah. Two strands of that. Don't be doing that, bro. I'm sorry, but it's gonna block out anyway. Yeah, so don't do that so that it can block out naturally. Yeah, so I'm going to pin that and let it dry overnight and tomorrow I'll be able to start doing the calculations, measuring it and getting all the numbers that I need to start grading the pattern basically, which is exciting. Okay, all right, good night for now. Good morning, it is the next day. My fan is on high right now even though it's morning time, it's a little cool, but I'm wearing my Leon sweater right now and it's making me warm so I want to feel cold. Therefore the fan is on. Anyway, I pinned my swatch down last night and let it dry and now it is fully dry. I'm going to take the pins out of them. I like the garter edge because I can pin I could put the pins in the garter edge in, instead of the regular stitches so that like it doesn't mess up the actual stitches. But here's a swatch. Ooh, okay. I am in love with this drape right here. Like, oh my God. But yeah, this is it. Fully dried. And in the camera, it looks see-through. But in real life, it's not at all. Like, you can obviously see through stitches, but let me see. Let me show it from this side. This is what it looks like to me, like that. And of course, when you put it on skin or anything, it also blocks out that see-throughness. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, so this is... My first design gauge so what I'm going to measure this out get my gauge for this and start doing the numbers for my design oh my gosh that sounds crazy because I've been doing so much research the past month with this and it's like yeah okay when I have my gauge I do this I do that I do that but like now that it's time to do that, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's here. Like it's time. It's time to implement everything that I have learned, which is very exciting. And oh my gosh, I need to create a Google Doc. Like I need to, I need to do so much. Okay, okay. All right. Let's finish stuffing this in here. Okay, whatever. Good enough. And let's get to measuring. Alright guys, 
update time. I, so far, have written out, well, I've done the math and gotten, hold on, this looks a little crooked. Can you tell that I love blue? <laughs> I've done the math and written out all of the numbers for all of the sizes that I need to cast on, like all of the cast on stitches and everything. I've written it out. It's so funny having my little notebook with my, <laughs> with my math. I'm only doing, in my notebook, I'm only doing the math for my size, but I have this Google Docs document that I have where I put all of the sizes in charts. So I have like the standard bus sizes and then the bus sizes with the positive ease that I want so that I can see what I have for the standard and then what I have for what the actual garment is going to be. I also have my the standard like upper arm sizes and then the upper arm sizes of positive ease that I want in the garment and also the neck circumference so that I can get these numbers you know and all these are in charts I feel so freaking organized I'm not going to show you obviously but I think it's so freaking cool so now the section I'm on I am on the color cast on and so I'm going to well actually I have already casted on the stitches for the size that I'm going to be knitting for myself so I have casted on the stitches already on 3.5 millimeter needles and so now I'm going to do the collar and once I see that the collar is exactly how I want it because I've already written out what I need it worked out as blah 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 yada 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 and so now I'm like all right great now let's Start knitting and once I finish the collar fold everything together it's gonna be a folded collar it's gonna be a two by two rib beautiful 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 then I'm going to find and do the math and do get the numbers for the yoke and sleeves well the yoke includes the sleeve so for the yoke I'm gonna get all the numbers for the yoke and then it will just be knitting it'll just be me knitting from there on out because well I have to figure out the German short rows thing, but that's not going to be difficult. So mainly I'm going to find out all of the stitches and increased rates and all that for the yoke. And then I'll just continue knitting after that. And that'll be so great. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to find it for my size first. And then I will use that same method to do it for the other sizes so I am grading as I go because hold on there's yarn in my thing no it's cat hair <laughs> yeah I am grading as I go because imagine doing all everything for just one size and then having to go back and re redo every not redo but re, but do it all over again for the other sizes. I'd rather just do everything at the same time as I'm knitting it up. I got that idea from Laura, Laura Penrose, from Penrose Knits, because, is her name still Penrose Knits? Was it always Penrose Knits on YouTube? Maybe it's, maybe it's not. Maybe it's her podcasting. Anyway, you guys know who Laura is, okay? I am going to, yeah, I got that idea from her and I love that idea because as I'm knitting, I can do the numbers and then I can really not feel like I have a whole lot of admin to do after I finish the garment, you know? So that's it for now. I'm going to just knit on the collar and then I will come back and show you guys when I'm done with that. Hey guys, it is the next day. <laughs> I did not record a lot of me knitting because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> but. I have finished folding down my collar. It is a nice squishy two by two rib. Oh my gosh. I'm so in love with this. So in love. And I'm so glad that it's thicker than that because I wanted it to be thicker than the usual patterns that I follow just so that it can have a little more character, especially since it's a plain stockinette <laughs> sweater. But also, all of my collars are gonna be like this because I like this length and it's my favorite, favorite kind of length. And if I'm gonna make a sweater, 
I want it to be, I want the collar to be this length all the time, okay? Yeah, anyway, now that I've done this, it's time to place raglan markers. So this is gonna be a six stitch raglan, which I haven't done before, so I don't know what it's gonna look like. So, you know, this is like, mm, you can't even see it because of the Surrey. Oh, I'm wearing my Monday sweater by Petite Knit. I did it using Sorella Surrey Alpaca and fingering weight yarn. I forgot what the color was, to be honest. But I was not a fan of the Surrey. It is so soft. <laughs> so soft like prickle factor zero okay it is amazing on the skin i don't wear anything underneath my sweaters so i get like a hundred percent of the experience of how the fibers feel on skin and it feels great like i can feel it but not really it is like compared to mohair i can always feel the prickle factor of mohair but it doesn't bother me but I can barely feel the prickle factor of this. Like, it just feels so soft and amazing. But it takes over. I don't like that it took over the fingering weight yarn. That's why I like mohair because it's complimentary, but it doesn't, like, take over the yarn. You can't even see the fingering weight yarn in this. It just looks like Surrey. <laughs> but anyway, you can barely see the raglan because the Surrey is so puffy but it's right here. I think it's like a three stitch raglan for the Monday sweater. But I want to have a thick raglan. Thick six stitch raglan. I don't know if that will mm, change the way the sweater looks or something or like the construction of it. But that's why I'm experimenting. So <laughs> now I have done the math for all of the cast, I don't know if I've said that already, but I've done the math for all of the cast-ons for all of the sizes. So all of the sizes, I already know the cast-on stitches, I did the math for that. So now I'm going to do the yoke <laughs> and sleeve math for, hey, for my raglan and everything and my german short rows i'm gonna see how many rows of german short rows i'll be doing what else yeah so a lot of this section is gonna be a lot of math you will probably not see me do the math because i don't care to film it while i'm doing it i just want to actually do it i'm very congested right now okay <laughs> but yeah, I just want to do the math. I don't want to film and get distracted and like throw off my game because this is a very important step, okay? And I'm going to be doing it for all of the sizes right now. So I feel like this is the major part and I just want to make sure I do it right the first time, okay? So let's get it. Oh, I have spent the past oh my gosh when did I start recording well it's been since morning it's 4 p.m. right now and I've been working on this since I woke up in the morning so I'd say let me just say since 10 o'clock I have been working on this So many numbers, so many numbers have been written down, rewritten, scratched out. <laughs> but I have graded everything so far. I've gotten stitch counts and everything, increased rates. This is a big sweater, dude. Doing the numbers, like saying that I want a certain amount of ease is like, yeah, okay, great. 
but actually seeing the amount of stitches it takes to knit something with this amount of ease I'm like oh my god like if I'm comparing this to let's say the Monday sweater by Petite Knit the small in my pattern equals a is a 2XL in Petite Knit's pattern. The extra small equals is equal to an extra 2X to a 2XL in Petite Knit's pattern. <laughs> Am I crazy for doing this? Because I'm going to be doing a size small, which equates to a 3XL, 2XL. I'd say between 2XL and 3XL. Yeah. So, that's awesome. I'm going to be knitting a whole lot, okay? A whole lot. The good thing is, I have... A 500 gram cone, okay, which this equals around 2,500 yards, meters, around 2,500 meters. Since I'm double stranding it, let's just say 2,500 meters because this is 2,500 and this is 2,500. So, but together it'll just be, it'll just equal to 2,500. So I have enough yarn to knit the sweater. I'm just thinking <laughs> about bigger sizes. Like, I'm gonna need to use my 40 inch cable for the first time probably because there are gonna be over 400 plus stitches on my needles at a time. That is cool. Anyway, so I've gotten all the numbers for, I've gotten the cast on stitches, I've been had that. I have the bus count, the total, well, the total body count stitches, the total arm stitches or sleeve stitches. I have the total amount of stitches I need to cast on for the underarm. I have the numbers that I need for the body minus those cast on stitches, minus the raglan stitches, the sleeve stitches, minus those cast on stitches. I have the increased rates I need for the sleeves, the increased rates I need for the body to get to those numbers. So now I need to actually knit it to see if that will end up being the rate that I want. And also, oh my gosh, I had to change so many numbers, but that's fine. One, two, three, four. I had to change five sizes numbers. What else? Yeah, now I need to do the German short rows so that I can get that increased rate. The German short rows will be the same for all of the sizes, but I want to get that rate so that I can subtract that from the total increase rate so that the rest of the increase rate will just be for the raglan stitch increase rate. <sighs> yeah. So that is what I need to do now. It's just experimentation at this point. So let's get it. Collar folded and ready. I'm ready. I'm nervous. <laughs> because imagine having to frog all of this and do the math all over again. I will literally go crazy. I hear you. What? No, it might help. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Sorry, Siri. Anyway, I'm gonna get started. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, so sorry. I am under the weather, okay? All of us are. My sisters and I, we're over here struggling, okay? I have been almost bedridden the past two days. Okay, not bedridden for real, but like, my energy is so low. I am very congested, but I'm feeling much better. Like yesterday, oh my gosh, the day before yesterday, I had the worst sore throat ever and then yesterday my sore throat was gone but I was more congested and I had a bad headache and I had no energy I literally woke up at like 
nine. Yeah, I woke up at like nine and I went back to bed. Like I got out of bed, got ready for the day, did all that. And I went back to bed at 11 a.m. <laughs> and I didn't get back up until like 4.30 p.m. Like I was literally just gone. But today, oh my camera's dying, but today, I'm like, I'm gonna be up and at them, okay? I'm feeling a lot better. My headache is gone. I have a little more energy, even though I am so congested. But that's fine, okay? I, hold on, let me get a new battery in and I'll come back. Okay, guys, I have done German short rows for the first time without a pattern, okay? Oh my god. Here it is. Here are my German short rows. <laughs> I'm so excited. As you can see, when you put these together, this is higher than the front, which is the point of German short rows. You want the back of your project to be higher than the front so that it sits the front of it sits nicely and doesn't like come up let's say these were the same length it would come up and probably feel like it's choking you but since I have German short rows it puts the front down a little bit so that is awesome oh my gosh I can't believe that I did this I mean I can but like this is the first time I'm actually understanding how to do German short rows because I realized that there isn't a science to it. You just do what you want, basically. <laughs> and that's so cool to me. But yeah, so now that I have done that, I'm going to write everything down in my notes. I have a whole pattern thing written up. I gotta count some stitches and everything now, but so far, so good. I just have to make sure my math is correct with this, and once I do that, then I'll know how to move to the next part. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. Okay, how do I lower this brightness? Oh. Little sneak peek. Of course, these are not the never sweater pictures. I haven't finished the sweater. I'm still at the German short rows because I did not <laughs> knit yesterday, okay? Still at the German short rows, but I spent all day grading the pattern, okay? So here's the about section, the notes, the gauge, all of that. I have no clue, like, the, <laughs> the grams of yarn or anything yet because I still have to knit the sweater and then I have the size guide and everything the amount of positive ease yada yada I have it in inches and centimeters I prefer to read centimeters but I know that mm, a lot of people like inches so I have both and that's about it and this is kind of what it's gonna look like my pattern except just imagine the never sweater but if you do like this sweater, this is the Mamba sweater by Ulan Knitwear. So if you want that, the pattern is out. Go to www.ulanknitwear.com. Okay, okay, okay. Or Ravelry. I'll link both. Okay, so look in the description for this. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. I love this sweater. Anyway, that's kind of what my pattern is going to look like. So, no, this is what my pattern is going to look like. And I'm not going to scroll any further because my numbers are after this, like the cast on and everything. So, yeah, I spent all day yesterday. Yes, yesterday I'm wearing the same shirt, okay? I have to. It's the Hamilton shirt, okay? Like, it needs more than one wear, in a week, all right? <laughs> right, Alex? Right. Anyway, some tea. I feel so much better today than I did, than I have all week. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I didn't knit one stitch yesterday, okay? That is so not like me, and it felt so weird. 
But the thing is, I didn't realize until I was going to bed. <laughs> oh God. Because I had spent essentially all day yesterday grading this pattern. I was rechecking my numbers, recalculating stuff, formatting the pattern itself. Because at first, I was just writing out my notes and stuff on the on a Google Docs. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'm just going to write everything out, yada, yada. Just like numbers and stuff and not really format it. And then I got the urge to just <laughs> format the entire pattern. So that wasn't even a plan. And I didn't even have a format in mind, but I just went with it. And I was like, I need this to be as concise and simple and readable as possible. And I believe it's that. Because I don't want anything fancy. I don't want anything like extra. I just need it to be... I need someone to pick up this pattern and understand what section they're on, read everything clearly, and that's it. Okay, I don't need fancy fonts, fancy this, fancy that. No, I'm good. So, I just wanted something minimalistic. There we go. And I achieved that, and I'm so happy with it. Like, it's so organized, and it looks so good. I'm just so happy with it. I'm not done writing the pattern because obviously I have to knit the sweater, but I have finished grading everything for the yoke. So now I'm going to continue knitting, basically making sure that my numbers are correct. And then once I get to the body, I will, I know what length I want my body to be, but I have to figure out what length I want it to be before my ribbing. And then I have to figure out, do I want to give suggested lengths for every size or do I want to just give one suggested length and then people can make it the length they want. I will probably go with mm, having different lengths for the different sizes just because maybe it just depends on how I'm feeling to be honest because I feel like length the length of the body isn't really it's very subjective you know because it just depends on how tall you are how cropped or how long you want your project to be I usually lengthen lengthen my stuff because I am basically 5'9 and a lot of the designers I follow are shorter than me so sometimes I need to add length to the sleeves or length to the body but for me with my pattern since I want it to be so oversized maybe some people want it to be shorter or longer who knows either way I think it just depends on how I'm feeling, but I have finished grading the pattern. <laughs> it's so weird to say that, like I have all of the numbers and it's so, I see how you can literally have a pattern before you even knit anything. I knit this and I think knitting the German short rows helped me really calculate the rest of these. Oh, this is so cool. I can't believe this is my pattern. I can't believe I'm creating something from my brain using my own gauge. Oh my gosh, this is so surreal. Like, it's not hitting me that this is real yet. Because I'm just like, huh? Maybe because I haven't finished knitting this yet, I think. Hold on, I'm just editing this. Okay. Cord. I think once I finish, like, the yoke of this pattern, I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is real. I did that. I calculated the numbers from this with no help. It was just me and my brain. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry if this is if I'm just like rambling about this, but I don't know. Do other designers feel this way? Like if you're a new designer or if you come up with things on your own, do you ever do you feel that way? It's like a surreal, oh my god moment. Like I did that. Like I came up with this with my brain and did this and now it's like it went from numbers to garment. I don't know. Or if you do it the opposite way, the garment and then the numbers. It's just like, oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, 
I'm gonna start knitting now because I have not knitted. Oh yeah, I didn't knit all day yesterday and I didn't realize until later in the day, at night, let's say, and I was going to bed and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't pick up my needles once, but that's because I spent like six plus hours calculating, grading, and writing and formatting this pattern. <laughs> and that's just from me having my German short rows done because I was doing the numbers before that. So I've been spending like, let's say, when did I start writing these numbers out? September 2nd. I've been, I've been doing this for three weeks now, basically grading for three weeks. This week will make a month that I've been grading this pattern. Wow. A lot of work, a lot of math, a lot of brain work, but now it's time to knit it. Okay. I will let you guys go. Watch me knit. <laughs>
because when we did like the October sweater, I think it's a three stitch raglan. It's like, ooh, that, that's a little thick raglan. No, it's not. It's not. Because when you look at this and you're like, oh, <laughs> that is a thick raglan. I have not seen this before. I don't care if it's out there. I personally, with my own eyeballs, have not seen someone do a six stitch raglan. I have not done a pattern that has called for a six stitch raglan. It's so hard to show because everything is so bunched up. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and complete these next eight rounds. I have not knitted all day. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm wearing my Toronto sweater today, by the way. The Terrazzo sweater by Petite Knit. Remember when it was like so trendy? Was it last year? <clears throat> yeah, because I went to Sweden with this last year. So around last year, everybody was knitting this. Oh, this collar was so annoying to knit because of the twisted rib. <laughs> twisted rib details everywhere. But it was so so fun to knit it is getting cooler okay tomorrow is going to be the first day of fall autumn i didn't realize that we in america in the united states i don't know about canada but we're the only ones who call autumn fall it's a it's an american thing i was just like yeah fall 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 and everyone's like Aut everyone i hear autumn 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 but i don't watch americans so i'm like oh my gosh anyway I'm just so happy I got this new phone. Oh, no. Yeah. So I knitted this with Noro Kakigori. Kakigori? Kakigori. And paired with Knitting for Olive Soft Silk Mohair. I think in Dusty Artichoke. I think it's Dusty Artichoke I did it in. This is what it looks like. It was peeling a little bit, but I just like snatched it off and tossed it. <laughs> But yeah, the Noro Kakigori is actually a cotton viscose silk blend. Right. And the original yarn for this is actually wool. But since I had Noro Kakigori, Kakigori, I was like, let me use it and to make it a warm kind of garment. And let me pair it with mohair. <laughs> cotton and mohair? Right. But it... It feels so good. I do not feel the mohair at all. Usually I feel the prickliness. Oh my gosh, this right here looks like a person and it scared me for a second. Yeah, I don't feel the mohair. And it's a little cooler today. So I was like, mm, I don't want something that's too warm, but I want to wear a sweater. And I was like, oh, this is the perfect one. And I didn't feel hot in it at all. It's kind of not really warm, <laughs> but it makes sense because it's mainly cotton and silk. Let me actually look up the contents for real. Nora, Kakigori. I know it's cotton. Cotton, silk, and viscose. Okay, so I was right. <laughs> yeah, it's cotton, silk, and viscose. Those are not warm things. Maybe viscose by itself, but not silk and cotton. Okay, so it is a summer yarn mixed with mohair, and it makes a nice transitional piece. So that's this is not what I'm here to talk about, okay? I'm here to talk about my never sweater, but I'm just gonna knit. I was gonna post this video today. I was gonna end it yesterday and upload it for today. And I was like, no, let me take tomorrow to knit on it, get more progress on it, and then I'll, uh, and then I'll edit it, upload it for tomorrow. I didn't do knitting today. I wanted to finish the yoke. So I think I'm going to upload this on Sunday. But that's also the same week that I'm going to upload my podcast. But do I really care? No. You guys will just get two videos in the same week. Yeah. So I'll upload this on Sunday. But tonight I want to... Okay? And tomorrow I want to be able to finish the yoke. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get it. It is 
currently almost 11.30 p.m. I got undressed and redressed hours ago, but I wanted to take off my sweater and just get comfortable. And actually, you know, I said that that sweater wasn't really warm. Yeah, I took it off and I got cold. <laughs> so it actually was warming me up, right? It was just a comfortable warmth in a way where I didn't notice that I was getting warm until I actually took the sweater off and I was cold. <laughs> anyway, I finished. But then I finished. I finished all of my rounds of sleeve increases. So my sleeve and body increases, of course. So when I say sleeve increases, I'm doing the body increases at the same time. I just lift up my lamp. I'm doing the body increases at the same time. Obviously, it's a raglan. But I have finished the bulk of the yoke. Like, the bulk... <laughs> The bulk of it, I am struggling so hard to continue on these 32 circulars because the amount of stitches that are on here right now need to go on all 40. But because I still don't know what this is going to look like, I want to feel like my sweater just grew out of nowhere when I split for the sleeves, okay? So if I put it on a 40, it's going to feel like splitting for the sleeves, and I don't want that just yet, okay? I don't want that just yet. So for now, my stitches are going to have to just <laughs> bunch up and just like that, okay? So now I am at the body increases. No more sleeve increases. Ah, ah. I remember when I would do raglans for other people's patterns. And I'll be like, why are there two different? What do you mean? Like, we just continue with the body increases and no sleeve increases. I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, why don't we just continue doing the raglans all over? And it makes sense, okay? Because the sleeves stop at a certain point, but the body is bigger than the sleeve. So you need to continue doing body increases to get the body with that you need okay so it makes sense now okay that was in my beginner era anyway I'm working on this dude I need to talk about these Sorella needles but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I am very tired right now and I just want to go to sleep I'm not even gonna read before I go to sleep I'm just going to sleep anyway back to this sweater oh shoot so this is yesterday and today's progress that's a lot of progress i'm gonna keep that on for now but yeah so tomorrow i have a few more rounds to do a few a lot more than a few but the bulk of the yoke is done and then i just have to do the body increases tomorrow and i can split the sleeves in the body i will finish that tomorrow like the yoke will be done by tomorrow which means it would have taken me one week and a day to do this but technically a week because i didn't knit for about two to three days i'll say like two and a half days i did not knit on this i didn't knit on anything <laughs> but i didn't knit on this at all so i'd say yeah about one week it took me to knit this yoke bear in mind all i do is knit every day okay so <laughs> This is not like a, oh yeah, if you knit this, like you can knit this in a week. No, knit however long it takes you to knit, okay? I'm on a, I have a deadline for this because I need to start my next design. So this, this is on, this is on the deadline, okay? But yeah, so tomorrow I will finish. And then next week I want to get the body done I want to finish the entire body so I want to spend the next week on the body 
so that I can have the first week of October be for the sleeves because I still don't I still haven't graded the body and the sleeves. I graded the yoke. I haven't graded the body and the sleeves. So that is something I need to actually knit before I grade it, <laughs> basically. And yeah, I mean, I don't have to. I have an idea already of how long I want it to be. But I'm still going to knit. But yeah, anyway, that's neither here nor there like my dad says i'm going to spend the entire next week knitting on the next two weeks knitting on this sweater but the next week knitting on this and the the body finishing it and then the next week knitting and finishing the sleeves yeah that's my plan i'm moving way faster than i thought i would be I thought this would take forever because the size that I'm knitting, though it is, I re, I re, mm, named my thing. So it's like extra, extra small to 5XL. So I'm knitting the extra small. And the extra small, <laughs> small, the extra small size that I'm doing, the bust size, the finished bust or his chest circumference is 135 centimeters, which is what, 53 and a half inches. So essentially I'm knitting around a 34 XL, <laughs> three XL type sweater size wise. And I'm making good progress. So this just shows me that it doesn't matter the size, I can still knit pretty quickly. <laughs> anyway, that's enough talking. I'm going to go to bed. I'm not going to talk again until I split for the sleeves. Okay? So, good night. Did I say that I wouldn't talk again? <laughs> that's so funny, Kalila. That is so funny. I just didn't feel like talking that night, last night, because I was tired. So, I made something that I... Anyway, I haven't started knitting today yet, but I wanted to talk about these needles. These beautiful, beautiful needles. This is the Sorella Knitting Notebook set. So pretty. You know, I, I've shown you guys this before. Yeah. And, you know, it looks amazing. The needles are so beautiful with their little gold, rose gold brushed finish. Right. Right. It is beautiful. Let me tell you everything that I love about these needles. Everything. That's, that's what I love about them. Everything. I love them very much. They are very Good. I have been knitting with British wool for ply, 100% British wool, so very rustic yarn, which means working on it with wooden needles would be kind of annoying. Don't I look like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> you know the guy that Mr. Incredible, like, <laughs> his boss, <laughs> anyway, he was in the neck brace. Or whatever. I kind of look like him. Okay. Anyway, I'm wearing the birch sweater by Ulla Knitwear today. Okay. It is so nice. So cozy. Oh, this is British wool as well. You would think I'm sponsored, but I'm not. Oh, someday. I used one strand of Drops Mohair and one strand of Four Ply British Wool by Woolly Knit. You can... I cannot feel the mohair. So, anyway. <sighs> Yeah, I love the functionality of these needles. They are amazing. Literally, why did I just pull all of my hair? Okay, literally the stitches glide on it as if it's like cotton on metal needles. And you know how cotton just like flies off the needles? Yeah, I have no trouble with the join or anything. Like the stitches just, mm, I'm knitting. <laughs> some of my fastest work on these needles which is amazing so amazing but 
I will insert pictures because you will not really be able to see it clearly on here. Maybe you could, but I, I will just insert the pictures here. I switched from my Takumi, because I started off the sweater with my Takumi needles because I needed 16 inch circular. So I did that for a few days. And then on Monday, I switched. So Monday, half of the day, I was working on my Takumi wood needles and then I switched to my Sorella needles on Monday. So I used it half Monday, all of Tuesday, all of Wednesday, right? So Thursday morning, so that's what, three days? One, two, yeah, three days, two and a half days on the third day. I started knitting with it and then I paused because I was, I thought about Kahila, Kahila's experience and I was like, let me look at these needles. Thursday morning, was it morning? Let me see the timestamp. <laughs> Timestamp, timestamp, because you know these things have timestamps. Now, Thursday evening, I took a picture of my noodles, and this is what it looked like. I'll put it here. Boom. Just in, just right on my face so you can see it. That is what it looked like after three days of knitting on it. Right. So I made a whole Instagram post and every not a post, <laughs> Instagram story. Why did so many people watch it? And, you know, people are like, oh, but no one, I don't think anyone has gotten it. Don't get it. Let's just start there. Don't get it. But I don't think anyone has gotten it to have that same experience. The only other person I know who has had that experience is my twin sister, Handmade with Kay, because she got it the same time I got it. I messaged her and everything today, so we'll see how things go. Anyway, so Thursday, which was two days ago. That was day three of me using those needles, and that is what happened. I hadn't touched the needles before. I got the needles weeks ago, but I wanted to keep it, to use it only for test knitting and my own designs, which I'm still sticking by that. So three days of eight plus hours of knitting on it, that's what happened. Today, so I knitted on it yesterday. So I did all that yesterday, posted by whatever, I was knitting on it yesterday, yada yada. Today, I haven't started knitting yet. It is 10 a.m. I decided to take a picture of the needles again, just so I can send it to Ashley of Sorella to let her know, like, these are how the needles are, you know, holding up, disappointed, blah, 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 whatever. But, like, they're great, but, you know, quality testing, yada, yada, whatever. <clears throat> Dude, this is what it looks like today. Bear in mind, I have not knitted today at all. So this is day four of what the needles look like after using it for four days. So we have, yeah, okay, let's, let's let you look at that for a little bit. Awesome. Great. Okay. Now I'm gonna put them side by side. This is day three. <laughs> I keep thinking that my neck looks like it's in a neck brace right now. Okay. Sorry. This is day three. This is day four. What a drastic difference. It's getting worse. I mean, obviously it's gonna get worse if it's already peeling. Well, it's not peeling. It's not shedding. It's literally just losing its color. It's, it's wearing away. The tips look chipped. They're not chipped, but they look chipped because they no longer have color. They're just silver. So I do not recommend these needles at all. As much as I am enjoying working with these needles, these are some of my favorite needles I've worked with when it comes to metal needles. But I do not recommend them at all. They are $180, just so you know. I don't care about how much they are. Whatever, I'll pay for them. I don't care. Because I personally just don't have a problem with how it's looking. That doesn't bother me. I'm, it doesn't, it's not hard for me to, if the needles are good when I'm using them, that's all I care about. I don't care about how it looks, whatever, like, my Knit Picks needles now are bumpy at the tips, because, I, I mean, I've been using them for over two years, so now, they're just now getting bumpy. So that's my thing. If you're going, I said this in Kayla's video, but if you're going to have a premium price, have premium quality, okay, four days of knitting, regardless on how much you, of how regardless of, regardless on, it doesn't matter how 
much you knit in a day, you should not have needles changing color within four days of using them. That is unacceptable. That should not be a thing. You know, at all. It doesn't matter how good these needles are. It is not worth your money if it's just going to look like that. Because I know that most people are not like me and my sister. Okay? Most people like to see their stuff hold up looking nice for at least a year. Six months? Hello? I'd say a year. If it's going to be such a high price compared to other needles... The quality testing, the quality of the needles themselves should have a higher standard compared to other needles. Especially if these are supposed to be luxurious, nice, you know, not like other needles, needles. <laughs> what? Not like other needles, needles? I don't know why that just came out of my mouth. But you guys understand what I'm saying, right? I mean, everyone agreed with me in my stories, but it's just disappointing but do i care no sorry i'm just advocating for people who do care <laughs> just in case people are like influenced like seeing me use them like oh my gosh those are pretty you know i was thinking about getting them and because you're using them and you say they're such great needles i'm gonna get them don't get them do not save your coins and get the copper licking needles mm -mm. I use those like I lost my mind. These. Ooh, yes, you need this cloth. If you don't have this cloth, you're going to cry. And I will say, cry about it because literally, you need these. They are copper. Copper tarnishes, okay? These are not regular metal needles. So you need that cloth to rub the tarnish off and then you're good. This is my second cloth I've used, and I've had these since the day they came out. I got them the day they came out. So, I don't know how long ago that was, though. But it's been a while. Oh, I'm just organizing my cases. Okay. But yeah, that is my little rant. Sorry, I keep playing with my collar. But at this angle, it literally looks like I have a neck brace on. Okay? Like, at this angle, it's like, oh, oh, nice. But at this angle, I look like I'm choking. Sorry. Anyway. Get this sweater. It's so nice. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> I, was talking, I was talking to Kahila yesterday about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this sweater so much. And I was like, I need to wear it today. Anyway, that those are my thoughts on it. Sorry, it was probably a little chaotic. But I don't like prep what I'm going to say. I just say what I feel in the moment. And I do not think you should get these needles. If you care about how your needles look over time, especially in a short amount of time. Will I still be using these needles for my knits? Obviously, obviously, I'm not gonna not use them just because they're turning silver, but the good thing is, even though the color is scraping off, literally like just where, my, where I knit, where my needles cross is exactly where the color is turning. So when I knit, and it's like this, that's where it's turning color. The good thing is it's not like it's shedding and getting on my project. So if you do have these needles and you are afraid that the color is going to shed off and transfer, it's not. At least it has not for me and I don't think it will because it's not like a peeled layer. I don't know how this color was... Mm, adhered i don't know how it's done you know put on the needle but it's not like a stick and peel shetty type of thing that's not happening at all so that's good i think that's why i don't care because as long as it, the color doesn't shed on my project you know i'm good anyway that's enough of me ranting about this i'm going to <laughs> oh yeah i'm going to knit my yoke today i have not knitted today yet but i'm going to start and i'm going to watch lord of the rings <laughs> i started it last night and i started it last night because i needed some motivation to finish my sleeve increases 
and then I finished it so quickly. So now I have to <laughs> finish the movie today. And then I will see how far it takes me into my thing. Because it's almost three hours long, the movie. And is this the Fellowship of the Ring? Yeah, the Fellowship of the, of the Ring, which is the first one. I'm going to watch that. I used to watch that all the time with my family when I was a kid. And I love them so much. Every time I hear Chelsea talk about it, I'm just like, ah, Chelsea from True Line. I mean, obviously. Anyway, that is it. Goodbye. Dundee, I'm trying to record. He's just gonna sit here. <laughs> Can I knit, please? Jump off the desk. Thank you. sleeves it took me a while to get back to you guys because i was busy grading okay now that i have split for sleeves i was like no before i split for sleeves actually i was like i need to write down what i'm going to actually be doing because i need to follow it as if i'm the person reading the pattern as well yes i am literally testing grading tech editing everything at the same time it doesn't okay. seem like a lot now that i like yeah, you're I mean, seeing my process? Yeah. Because I'm making it not be a lot. Like yeah, because you're doing it as you go, yeah. so it's like seamless. It doesn't seem like a lot. All Is like, this let's the say, same vlog? Yeah. Nice. Let's say I, I knitted this whole sample, and then I went back, mm -mm. and then press it. Yeah, exactly. Mm -mm -mm. Exactly. The thought of that literally makes me want to, and then like brain map. Sorry, that's very graphic. But it just, <laughs> it, it just made me think of that. Anyway, I have split the sleeves and the body or the sleeves from the body dude oh my gosh that is exactly this how thing I is it. huge if you guys don't understand how big this is this is the yoke <laughs> this is my belly button <laughs> right here right here okay you can probably see the print because i have an audi Let's see. Mm -hmm. Right here is my belly button. This is at my neck. This is past my boobs. Usually when I finish a yoke, it's like right here. So my boobs are right here. Usually it's like here, like right, just like literally hovering over it. Okay. This is half of my body 
and it's only the yoke. The sleeves are huge. Eh, yes, this is so great. But anyway, you can have a nicer look at the raglan. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I love how because the yoke is so mm. big, the raglan goes on for so long. Yes, it's like forever. Mm. <laughs> this is yeah, so... Amazing. This is literally what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I want and all I ever wanted. Dude. Whoever tested it's this, like this has to be your only whip for a while. Dude. <laughs> be prepared to only knit on it. <laughs> okay, but that's why I'm giving them 12 weeks. Yeah. So, you know. If you want to do a little something else on the side, understand this is plain stockinette mm -hmm. with 20 inches, 50 centimeters of positive ease. So, I understand. I understand that this would literally be a brain number. Look at the back. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did this. I came up with this with my brain. You did. I mean, there isn't any other way to come up with something than with your brain, but like, it, it's something I did, you know? Mm -hmm. I did it. Okay. In a fawning over my design, I kind of want to try it on, but that means I'll have to put these stitches mm -hmm. on hold and that is not happening also the body is bigger than it appears but as you can see this is still scrunched here and scrunched around there because these cords are not long enough to give the entire oversized effect i mean i feel like you can tell how oversized it is already just based on the sleeves <laughs> and how long the raglan and how long the raglan is <laughs> You know how raglans are supposed to go like under your armpit? My armpit is right here. Yup. This thing goes <laughs> to my side. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited to cast that on. Yes! This is a lot of fabric. This these are This is my cone. Well, these are these are the cones. This is what it's looking like so far. It's crazy how much yard is still on there. Right? Right. Literally, I can weigh it right now. Let's, let's weigh these bad boys. Weigh them. Weigh them. Why I'm does sorry. this keep changing? Because oh. I change it. Oh. Can I uh, see your sweater? Yeah. Let's see. No way! This Sorry. is still 400, 403 grams. Wow. So let's subtract like 20 grams for this thingy. So I still have over 300 grams of this cone left. This is... <laughs> and I, I have 444 grams of this left, so I subtract 40, I mean, only <laughs> 20. So I have over 20, 420 grams of this and 30 something, 300 something, almost 400 of this. So I still have a nice sweaters quantity, which is this. And each cone is like 2,500 meters. Yeah. Which is correct. So, this is correct. That is this huge. This is so big. It's like a lap blanket, bro. Right. <laughs> this is crazy. It's like vlogception yeah. because you just posted your video and I'm posting mine tomorrow. Oh, so, wow. if someone watches your video today and then watch mine tomorrow, they're going to be like, wait, I just went. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that is all I have for this video. Literally, I just wanted to split oh, wow. the sleeve. I wanted to finish the yoke in this vlog. Yeah. And now that nice. I have, I feel so great. It took me a week, one week to finish this. <gasps> yeah, one week to finish the yoke. Wow. Yeah, wow. so I want to spend the next week on the body. It doesn't even and seem then, like you've been knitting like crazy. Like Right. I mean, I feel it only because I gave myself a deadline, but now that I've met it, I'm like, Ooh, that was nice. I can already see myself just lounging yes. in this sweater. Oh, and it's fall now? Like, oh. Uh... Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> All right, not your video. <laughs> For real. Oh, and then you can show our dad your sleeves. True. Yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I don't know how long this is. I don't even know what's in this vlog because it's been so long. I cannot wait to film my podcast later this week because I will have a lot of pro well, potentially a lot more progress. Well, yes, because I want to get most of the body done this week. So anyway, that is it. See you guys in my podcast later this week. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you guys have tried to design a pattern before, write a pattern, grade a pattern, tech edit a pattern if you're a tech editor. Yeah, just let me know. This entire process has been so much fun, but I'll speak more on it as I get deeper into the body of this sweater and see more of how it's turning out because I think I'll be like I'm in awe right now just looking at this but I think I'll be even more in awe when I have like that much plus that to show you know so see you guys later bye